Hi everyone and welcome to Home Reno Collectibles where if you haven't noticed I've been actually starting to upload regularly again. So we're going to kick things off with a massive unboxing. This channel would not be complete with a regular massive haul from Big Bad Toy Store. There'll be a link to their site in the description below if you want to check out any of the stuff that I have in here. Uh, a lot of it, you know, this is obviously like my pile of loot, which means you can buy things and then when they come in stock you can just add them to your pile of loot, which means they don't ship until you tell it to so you can just basically um kind of stockpile all your stuff and then have it all ship at once which is a really really nice thing it's one reason why i love buying from big bad toy store because i can pre-order something or i can buy something that's in stock right now and i can have them ship uh, whenever i want and and it's fantastic which obviously helps with shipping costs and stuff but uh as you can see it's another big box so yeah, yeah kind of um a little bit on the large side, as they always are. So obviously, uh, I've had this on pre-order, you know, some of the things in here for a while. So some things might not be in stock now, and some things might be kind of older items. But anyway, without babbling on too much, let's go ahead and see what we've got inside here. Just give me a second and I'll tear this thing open. And it's actually, I'd, I'd say about half the value of most of my unboxings from Bid Bag Toy Store. So this isn't going to be as big as they usually are. As always, we have one of those Big Bad Toy Store little leaflets that you get in every single one, showing you a few of their new items, which are all really, really cool right there. So first up, let's go ahead and get into the Marvel Legends that are in here. Now, I've already got a couple of these. Uh, I just bought uh, some duplicates, uh, which I had from Kapow Toys. Uh, but this is where I originally had them on order from, and it is the uh, Classic Series Wave 1. Now, these haven't been... On pre-order since they came out i originally i didn't know whether i wanted them or not uh, i just wanted like one or two of them and then i decided you know what i'll just get the whole wave i can't remember how long ago it was but they basically put the entire wave on a uh, sale and i think they were like less than half price so absolutely amazing value for each of these so here we have captain america which is basically the same as uh, the recent comic book Captain America that they did, but they added in the uh, the detailing on the top there for like the scaling, so it is a slightly better version if you like that. And obviously they added this, which came with that Hydra Captain America, which I don't have. So it's nice to have that accessory for some photos. Here we have the uh, Pizza Spidey, so he has a very strange brown coloured pizza there, so it looks more like a burnt pizza or maybe a barbecue pepperoni or something, I don't really know. Um, the spider on the chest and on his back is ever so slightly different to the regular pizza spider-man and um i think we have a lighter shade of blue here but then the overall thing is a bit more of a kind of matte so it's not shiny pizza spidey was a very kind of glossy spider-man figure which a lot of people didn't like um so this is i guess a bit more kind of you know classic comic book uh orientated which is obviously what it's meant for um, so that is a fantastic figure. Now a lot of these obviously because they're just on the card backing um, It's harder to get into them without kind of damaging it, but you don't actually tear it off It's not like your kind of you know uh, regular uh, card style thing uh, It's kind of sandwiched in between two pieces of cardboard So what people tend to do is either heat it up or just split it or whatever it's, as you can see you can kind of open it up like that so you open it up and then you can kind of squeeze the plastic out or cut the bottom of the plastic and, and slide the figure out so you don't wreck the overall thing. So if you want to get it out and use it or if you ever want to put it back in, you can always put these back in and still hang them up or whatever it is that you want to do to display them. But I really do like these designs. Some of these figures I might not take out at all. I mean, obviously we have a lot of Spider-Man figures. This is very similar to that Pizza Spidey, but I think I do prefer this. And I think this has the newer style hip joints so you can get the more articulation whereas the original pizza spidey was a little bit limited at the hips so there's some reasons as to why you might want to take them out or not and so here we have uh, iron man which is fantastic he comes with the two little boost effects which can only go in the feet as you can see he's got the peg holes in the feet but nothing in the hands i mean he's got a closed fist and then the open one but you've got the solid repulsor in there so you can't use them in the hands at all but you can use them in whatever else you want you can put them in some guns or something from other marvel legends figures or whatever really really great accessories some of the best accessories to come out marvel legends in a long time but this iron man is definitely a needed one and i never had him from his original release and next up here my favorite marvel character uh, which kind of changes every now and then between Punisher, Wolverine and Spider-Man. Um, but yeah, here we have 
the Punisher right here. This is a fantastic figure, very similar to, you know, the, the exact same release, really, the Jim Lee release. We don't have a white bandana this time, we have a red one, and it comes with the rocket launcher, but uh, a very nice figure nonetheless. Uh, here we have Black Widow, which um, I just really needed a comic book star Black Widow. I actually got another one from Big Bad Toy Store so that I can uh, put them in different displays because there's just not enough Black Widows for all the different stuff. Because uh, I like to just have like a kind of heroic age display and a silver age display and you know a kind of uh, Marvel Now kind of display and we have the Black Widow on the bike but other than that we have movie versions. This is the only other comic book version that we've got in recent time from Marvel Legends. Um, the only other good one, which there was two variants of, is the Hasbro 2-packs, which were like, when was that, like 2006 or something like that. Uh, just Black Widow on her own, whichever one you get, the black one or the grey one, uh, would be, you know, like 60, 70, 80 pounds plus for one figure. The 2-pack sealed is like two or 300 pounds, so it was Black Widow and Winter Soldier. So. It's just really hard to get those older great Black Widow figures now and the actual toy biz one that you can easily get a hold of is just crap. So, you know, just this and the one on the bike are the only two good Black Widows that you can get. So I went ahead and picked a second one of those up. Here we have Wolverine, almost the same exact figure as the, uh, you know, release from, I don't know what wave it was part of actually, but... Um, uh, the, the standard Marvel Legends release of Wolverine basically didn't come with this piece, which is nice to see that reused again because it is a great piece. And this unmasked version actually has uh, a little bit of shading on him to make him look like he's got a bit of 5 o'clock shadow, which is really nice. And then also he has the hair on his arms, which is reminiscent of the original Series 6 brown suit Wolverine. So this is the superior version of the brown suit Wolverine out of this and the other modern one so that is really nice to own but i might just keep this in package just like that because i think that looks really really cool I, i've always loved the wolverine logo in fact i might even get the wolverine logo tattooed on me one day so um i've always loved that kind of look so i think I'll, this is one of the ones that i'll be keeping in package as well moving on to transformers uh recently we've had the studio series number ooh, 32 maybe or something like that i'm not sure um what it, it what number it is but anyway the new uh optimus prime the revenge of the fallen uh, Optimus Prime which is um, made so that it's got a few extra tabs on it and it transforms ever so slightly differently so that it can be used alongside that Jetfire and you can combine them up. I'd, I do have the Jetfire on pre-order from Capel Toys but uh, I already have this Prime and I've still got to review it obviously um, but I got a second one because I want it in uh, vehicle mode and I might actually um, in fact I, I definitely will I'll, I'll uh, do some dry brushing and stuff on it and, and some weathering and stuff and uh, I'll make a bit of a custom out of this Prime. I believe that this is the best one out of the two. The new one has a nicer uh, uh, chest piece but the abdomen kind of section I, I like on this because there's more kind of a gunmetal and greys and stuff whereas the new one is more red. The red on the new one is slightly brighter so it is more accurate but I really do like this dark red that they used on this figure. It's just really really cool and very unique to this figure. And also this one comes with the battle blades, it comes with his two swords basically, which the other one comes with a gun. It's really nice for that to come with a gun. I might get that figure one day so I can do the comparison and everything. I really do love movie primes. Um, but you can actually see one, possibly see it on the camera. Yeah, you can see it. So that's the Revenge of the Fallen leader class prime over there with the battle blades and stuff. Um, I just think that's the best form of prime. And in vehicle mode, you can actually on the newer one see the tabs, uh, some on the outside, which are going to be used to connect to Jetfire pieces uh, to form that uh, kind of, you know, paralleling Jetfire Optimus Prime sort of look. Um, so it's not as good in vehicle mode. And a couple of things are just a bit more streamlined, like around the hips. And it's also kind of just a lot more accurate, I guess, the, uh, the back section in robot mode. So there's good things for both of them. Uh, but in general, this is my favourite one out of the two, just because it comes with the Battle Blades and it's just a very unique, darker kind of a look, which really helps if you want that kind of, a, you know, battle sort of look, not kind of um, fresh and red and uh, pristine. So here we also have two more Transformers. So we have the uh, Studio Series Voyager Starscream, it's Studio Series number six. So I've never actually had any movie Starscream or, or Seeker at all. 
Uh, I really hope that they repaint this into a, uh, a Skywarp and Thundercracker. I'd love the three of them together. I've always liked the design of Starscream, but I've never really liked how he's shown in the movies. I, I wish that we just saw more battles from him. He's just like epic in the plane. As soon as he transforms, he's just this kind of weakling. Which in G1, yes, obviously he was, uh, and pretty much any um, uh, Transformers cartoon, he's always been, you know, cowardly and stuff. That's just his character. But he is an incredibly strong Transformer. He's, he's you know, he's, he's very powerful. He just never really gets a chance to use it. And I just really wish that we saw more of that in the films. Um, so there is Starscream. And then here we have Blackout, uh, Studio Series number eight. Now I do actually have the original Blackout figure, I think that was a Voyager, um, so it'll be fantastic to compare the two, obviously this is bigger as you can see, it is a leader class as it says right there. Um, I'm going to do a comparison, this figure has caused a lot of controversy just because of um, how hard it is to transform, especially back into the uh, alt mode, into the helicopter. Um, but this is one of my favourite uh, kind of uh, Transformer designs from the movies and I absolutely adore the way that this thing looks and I adore him in the games and everything so cannot wait to not only review the original figure and this one and do the comparison. Um, I'll try and show the transformation and everything and uh, I'll, I'll try and get it down before I do the video. We have two more items in here and they are Fison. Uh, Big Bad Toy Story is where I get my Fison stuff from. Uh, so here we have the cowgirl figure. And we also have... Let me get my knife so I can open this thing up. But inside here we also have the uh, Scara, the Valkyrie. I have a ton of these figures to... I've, I've probably already got like five or something to uh, showcase for you. So cannot wait to get these reviewed. And there it is on the box art right there. So as you can see, you know, she'll come with, uh, she got a rifle, a couple of pistols. Uh, I believe she may have a whip, but I am uh, not massively certain on that. But uh, absolutely fantastic looking figure right there. This one comes with a lot more stuff. And there she is with all of her armor and everything. Sorry about the glare, it is in obviously like a cellophane wrapping right there, but that armor is so detailed and looks incredible, and I cannot wait to get these things out of the boxes and reviewed. So there you go, I got some more Marvel Legends, more Transformers, and some more Fison stuff to come your way. Um, if you haven't noticed recently on the channel, I've been reviewing some older Marvel Legends. I've got like basically all the Legends that came out last year that I didn't review, so anything from like, uh, I guess, summertime, last year till now all those legends so there's like four or five waves i've just still got to review so there's the avengers waves and the sasquatch wave and and so on the venom wave and stuff um some things here and there i reviewed back then but then some things i've still got to review now uh so i'm pretty much whenever i do marvel legends videos because obviously we've got the new waves coming in right now you got the kingpin wave and such um I'm going to be reviewing pretty much like two or three legends when I get them uploaded, as you've seen. Um, I'm just going to be darting around from the different waves, and there's still stuff to do from the SPDR wave. I think maybe just one thing. I'm looking at the Builder figure, and it's missing an arm and a leg. So there's at least two figures still to do from that wave. Um, we got a couple of figures left to do from the Black Panther wave. And that's not the second Black Panther wave, that's the first. So yeah, uh, still quite a few things to get up for you guys, but I will be just reviewing like crazy, mass reviewing. Uh, this year, I am gonna try and stick to it. I'm gonna, uh, you know, I'm hoping to get roughly one video up a day. So that means some video, some days there might be like two or three videos, and then there might be a couple of days where I don't upload, or sometimes there might just be like one video a day, that kind of thing. Uh, but bear with me. Yes, I am going to be getting up a lot of older, uh, you know, like Titans Return and, and stuff like that, Transformers, Generations Transformers, and obviously I'm going to be getting up a few of the older but still kind of recent Marvel Legends waves and stuff. Um, so, I mean, it's better than not uploading, right? So, yeah, I'm just going to be getting all of that stuff out of the way. The reason that these piles are all here in all of my videos, in my Loot Crate videos and stuff, is because... 
I'm stockpiling stuff. I need to review stuff. So um, that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be mass reviewing a bunch of stuff so that we can get ready for all the new stuff that's coming in. So bear with me. Uh, Home Reno Collectibles is coming back. I'm going to be carrying on with the Pepper Cura Iron Man suit. Although um, I will be making a Iron Man armor uh, first or kind of along with it. I will actually be making an Iron Bat. So we're going to make an Iron Man and Batman infused armor design. So that's going to be fantastic. We're going to have the Bat logo lit up on the chest and everything. And it's going to be awesome. I'm going to be taking kind of liberties from different things. Maybe Batwing, maybe some like Arkham Knight suit designs and stuff. Just kind of using whatever I can to make a pretty cool thing. Batman Beyond is my favorite Batman suit uh, style. So we'll see. We'll kind of blend it all together and we'll see how this thing comes out. But... 2019 is going to be a big year. I am going to be pushing content like crazy. Um, if there's some days where I'm uploading a ton of content that to you is kind of old or you've already seen from other reviewers or whatever, uh, bear with me. You know, you don't have to watch it if you don't want to, but I will be getting to a lot of new stuff as well. So it's going to be a long road, but it's going to be absolutely amazing. So if you guys can help out, that would be much appreciated. You know, obviously I kind of need to kickstart everything again. So if you could like the videos, if you comment, if you could share, uh, give me feedback, what you want to see, what you don't want to see, uh, any kind of constructive criticism on videos. If you uh, want me to change uh, how I do a certain thing or if something isn't quite right for you, just let me know and I'll see what I can do. If you like the videos, there's likely going to be a lot of people in your life that are going to like them too. Um, so if you could share the videos with your families and friends and whatnot, that would be amazing on so social media or anything. Like seriously, anything helps. I'm going to be seriously picking things up a notch. It's going to be absolutely incredible around here, but I need your guys help in order to keep that growth happening. So if you enjoy the channel and you enjoy my content, please, please help me out and share the stuff as I'm trying to just seriously get back into this there's going to be a lot of content coming your way so stay tuned thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give it a like if you want to see more from me there's some videos on the screen right now and there's some links to my social media in the description below and the link to big bad toy store where you can pick some of this stuff up if it's still available which it should be um and yeah for more unboxings marvel legends transformers bison reviews go ahead and subscribe thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time